Hi everyone, this is the Chutababa from Nightlight Astrology, and today we are going to take a look at Mercury square with Uranus, which is perfecting shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up on the real-time clock. This is actually a preview of the Sun's upcoming square to Uranus, which is happening just after the Sun has opposed Saturn and Mercury has opposed Saturn. So now that we're getting past the Saturn dynamic, here you can see both the Sun and Mercury passing over the opposition to Saturn, a little heavier transit. The nice part is that after the uh, you know after the after the rain comes through the Saturnine rains the clouds break and the sun comes back out in a sense because the Uranus dynamic with both Mercury and the sun is significantly lighter um, so let's take a look at that first of all you can see here's Mercury coming through the square to Uranus this is Tuesday August third and if we go forward by one day between now and tomorrow at this time. Mercury will have passed through the square to Uranus. So that's a pretty dynamic square. It's happening very quickly today into tomorrow. And again, it's kind of a foreshadow of what's coming later in the week when we see the sun go through the exact same square. So you can see that is happening on Friday, August 6th into Saturday, August 7th. So a lot of Uranus action this week. Um, we have um, you know two big squares to Uranus right after these oppositions to Saturn. The way that I like to think about this is whatever limitations, constraints, whatever uh, maybe more depressive or oppressive elements we've been dealing with, um, having faced those, we're now ready to, uh, you know, kind of we've digested them and we're ready to move on. We're, we're, we're ready for a breakthrough, an insight, an, um, an inspiration to come through and kind of put us back into motion again. And it's interesting that um, by Sunday, we have a new moon. So the new moon is also going to be happening in a square with Uranus. This new moon will be catalyzing the actions, insights, breakthroughs that we're having at the tail end of this moon cycle this week. In other words, as both Mercury and the sun square Uranus. So there's a lot of dynamic um, energy coming through this week that should motivate us out of the doldrums of the Saturn opposition and really get things rolling in, in I think, um, a healthy direction at the start of the new moon cycle. So at any rate, today, we're going to take a look at Mercury's square to Uranus and just give you a sense of what you might experience today into tomorrow. First of all, maybe the most, um, you know, maybe the most important one or the one that I'm used to seeing, I should say, the one that I see the most with, you know, over the years of doing you know, tracking transits and reading charts for people and so forth is when Mercury and Uranus get together, there are often outbursts of communication. And by outbursts of communication, I they could be very, very positive. So don't get me wrong. Um, but they nonetheless, they come unexpectedly and they serve to break some kind of stagnation, especially with Mercury coming off from the opposition to Saturn. So this idea of a breakthrough in thinking, a breakthrough in communicating, um, communicating something with Mercury and Leo that comes from the our, our sense of pride or ego, our sense of individual um, purpose, our individual needs, our, our, our need for recognition or autonomy, uh, agency and authority, um, and the need to, you know, kind of push through some perceived limitations or to um, you know, finally sort of have it out. So something that comes on suddenly, quickly, with an aura of defiance, rebellion, with the need to assert oneself, to assert individuality, to defend, protect, or uphold one sense of pride or ego. So this kind of outburst of communication is a, it's a distinct possibility for Uranus and Mercury. The other thing that we have to look for are the qualities Mercury in Leo in general with Uranus can come across just the aura or energy of it in your in the environment can come across as defiant, original, strong, authoritative, bold, potentially egotistical, um, with a, a sense that I'm, I'm playing by nobody's rules but my own. Um, especially when it comes to mind, speech, uh, communication. Now, any kind of announcement that would be made that would serve as a, a shocking announcement or an exciting or inspiring announcement um, or a sudden change of direction that is announced or a sudden piece of communication that's delivered. Um, so 
Also, anytime that we want to say or do something original, I want to break from the status quo and say or do something that's utterly unique, entirely me, Mercury, Uranus, especially with Mercury and Leo, anything that might constitute a revolution of technology. Um, for example, um, you know, you have to replace a laptop or a cell phone, um, or you're getting one that's lighter weight, or you're getting one that serves a very particular purpose at work, or, you know, maybe the, in the workplace, you're being given a new, you know, company, I don't know, tablet or something like that. Anything that could constitute a revolution in terms of how you're doing business, what kind of technology that you're using, um, anything also that would constitute a sudden decision a sudden snap instant okay I'm not going to do this i'm going to do that um any kind of intellectual or mental breakthrough in our understanding of something or the ability to suddenly use a new skill like if you've been practicing something over and over and over again and you're not getting it and then suddenly it clicks uh that's a mercury uranus dynamic um also, if you're in the midst of communicating with someone and there's a breakdown or a conflict of egos or just a sudden break off in communication, if someone were to suddenly send a text saying, don't call me back, right? Mercury, Uranus, potentially. If someone were to call and say, you know what, I'm actually not, I'm going to look somewhere else. Thanks for, you know, they were going to give you a bid for a job or something. I found someone. Thank you anyway. Okay. So like this, um, the breaking of records in sports okay if you if you break a record that's been held for a long in the olympics maybe someone breaks a record remember that mercury um was traditionally associated with sports and so anything that could constitute some kind of breakthrough or sudden change in the sporting world in in the world of competition or in marketplaces as well as mercury was also associated with markets and the exchange of money and goods and services um any kind of invention or idea that could make things <clears throat> easier or that could um, set you free. Also, this idea, generally speaking, of individuation and ideas or thoughts or insights that appear suddenly with the purpose of helping you to be more of your true self or to make help you feel uh, less inhibited. Um, anything involving electricity. Uh, sometimes there's going to be, again, like a a new skill or ability or a breakthrough in something you're practicing or learning. Um, so those are all probably the most common uh, Mercury Uranus dynamics. I love Mercury Uranus because one of the things that tends to happen for me is wherever I have been feeling stuck. And sometimes I don't even realize that I'm feeling stuck in, a, in a, maybe a certain area in my life. When Mercury Uranus comes through, it's as though there's just this light bulb turning on upstairs in a place where, you know, it's been dark for a while. I'm like, oh yeah, it's kind of stagnant. It's been kind of stagnant in this area. The light's back on. And now suddenly I feel like I'm having new ideas and insights about how to approach a problem or how to get unstuck. And I love those moments because suddenly I feel just, you know, 10 times better. You know, I feel like lighter and suddenly it's like, there's inspiration to move forward where I've been stuck somewhere. Um, if you're a writer, you know, these are great moments because these are typically the moments where the muse, just the lightning strikes and you sit down to write and you know where you want to go and you feel, um, you feel good about where you're going, where you, you suddenly decide you're going to take your character in a new direction or something like that. I think for any kind of artist, Mercury Uranus tends to show up as the, the original insight that helps you move through a, a creative block. Um, Mercury square Uranus can also be uh, that person. You know, it's kind of Socratic, like asking questions, doubting everything, resisting authority. Um, but you do have to be careful of, you know, I can't accept any kind of authority or guidance. I can't, you know, accept any kind of help or wisdom from someone who knows more than myself, uh, some kind of hubris. I'm going to invent something or do something or use something that will overcome you know, like taking shortcuts basically that may have karmic, um, karmic kind of penalties associated with them. So hubris potentially sort of tempting the fates of the gods with some kind of defiant, um, you know, uh, some kind of defiant attitude, like a little bit like Icarus flying too high to the sun. Mercury Uranus can get high on 
what it can do and and be resistant to the idea that there still exists limitations and there are always limitations right now we might be moving a little bit more on the side of moving through limitations because mercury is just coming off from the opposition to saturn and so i think probably more um we're more on the side of moving through a, a feeling of exhaustion or limitation or um stuckness and uh you know that'll move we'll move move through that with the sun squaring uranus as well there's going to be another big burst of a lot of these same themes coming in friday and saturday and then the new moon on sunday will square uranus so we'll be back to talk about more of these as the week goes on for today i just wanted to give you guys a quick feel for the mercury uranus dynamic if you have any stories you want to share um just put hashtag grab and uh, we'll reflect on, you know, how the the planets showed up in your life. Um, we do have an email address um, that's set up, and I I will be I'm I'm just we're just a few last things that we're trying to get organized here. So we're setting up kind of like a spreadsheet to archive everything before we get the inbox set up because once we get it set up and we give it out to people, we'll get flooded. So we're just making sure we have organization structure in place to filter and kind of sort everything that comes in. But we have an email address set up for people who want to share stories. And that should be coming um, later this week or next week where we will actually start. Um, I'll start doing videos where I share some of your stories. We have some really good ones. That have been called, some really like I just have to laugh because some of them are so absurd. It's like you can't make this stuff up. Anyway, thank you guys for sharing yours. Put hashtag grabbed if you have a story. Tell your story if you don't mind us sharing it. Uh, how have these trans make sure you include the transit combination like Mercury Uranus so that we know which transit you're talking about. Okay, that's what I've got for today. We will see you guys again tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bye. <laughs>